Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel with Shatara Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. I realize half of y'all are not subscribed and that's not good. Like here on my channel, I'm really trying to create a community where everyone is engaging with one another in the comments. So babe, if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? And make sure you go ahead and take the time to do so. But anyways, let's jump right into my shower routine. First off, Let's chat about how I had to like really hype myself up to film this video in the first place. As you may notice, I don't have what society may deem as the aesthetic shower. You know, I got white walls and that's okay because they're clean, first of all, yeah. And I have a lot of good products that have been treating my body well. So let's jump into them. First things first, I like to use this African washcloth. How will I explain it? It's like very exfoliating, but it's also really soft to touch. Um, the real ones, because I don't even got a real one, baby. I got this from Target, but like my boyfriend, he has like a rougher texture of the cloth and it's really good to exfoliate your body. You can stretch it out completely and use it to like wash your entire back. It's really good, really versatile. I'm sorry to tell you, boo-boo, but if you are still using regular regular washcloths, I'm going to need you to retire them ASAP in the Rocky right now. Throw it in the garbage. So right here in my cute little bottle that I got from Amazon. This is the Sensitive Original Dove Soap. I've been a Dove girl all my life and I will remain the same. This is a gentle cleanser that I can rely on always that will lather up each time I use it. Also, this cloth, it helps lather any soap. So if you're a girl like me who likes suds, get you one boo but anyways this stuff is amazing it's gentle it's moisturizing it cleanses me well it's always going to be fully stocked in the store period and you know i'm seeing a lot of the influencers get into native body wash and the olays and that's cool and all but i would rather stay away from a body wash that's like heavily scented just because i have sensitive skin and i don't want anything breaking me out i just need you to do your job and keep it pushing in, okay and you know, not to throw shade at anyone else because everyone's skin and everyone's body is completely different. I may try them just to see what they give, but for the most part, I'm gonna always have Duff in my shower. And let's talk about my shower hair real quick because yeah, I'm proud of myself. I put this up, I installed it completely by myself. It was so easy to do, I got it from Amazon. Um, if you want to know the actual link, you can go check out my, um, I think I did a day in the life where I redecorated my bathroom and I showed you guys how I installed it but other than Dove I'm not gonna lie I have been getting into the brand Necessaire and wait before I talk about Necessaire like y'all see how I could change the head the shower heads to do different things I love that and this was really affordable I think it was like 30 to 40 dollars if that but anyways back to what I was saying about Necessaire I've been getting into this brand because this is the first time I ever heard of a body wash or a brand in general that takes care of your body similarly to how skincare takes care of your face. These body washes have things in them like salicylic acid, things that are really good, really focused on replenishing and nourishing your skin all over. We tend to take really, really good care of our face but we don't do the same for our body so if you suffer from chest acne or back knee things like that you want to get rid of scarring hyperpigmentation you just want to bring nourishment and moisture back into your skin i would definitely look into their brand so the wash i'm using right now is scented with eucalyptus i just wanted to see what it smelled like and that was all sephora had at the moment but the white bottles that you see are all unscented and then the like greenish bottles are eucalyptus scent so you don't have to get a scent if you don't want to and i absolutely love that about that brand because they give you the option and i love options so this right here is an exfoliant that I got from the European Wax Center when I used to go to them to get waxes. Tea, honey, I don't even go there anymore. But I would literally buy this product off of their website because it's so good. It smells like straight vanilla. And that's like one of my favorite go-to scents. It's kind of sticky in terms of consistency. And then when you rub it in, you start to like really see how well it's going to exfoliate your skin and it also lathers up nicely and it's just really really good to be honest like 
if you don't get anything, baby, get this for exfoliating, okay? Um, and it's not rough. Like, it's not too harsh. Some sugar scrubs that y'all be getting, that I be seeing y'all get, I've tried them before. They're too rough on the body. They're, like, really chunky. And I like how the beads in this exfoliant are really fine. I love it. And you see how, like, thick it is? Like, it's a really good like high quality product in my opinion and i like to put this all over my body um but i tend to focus it in the areas that i know i'm going to shave in because before i shave i have to exfoliate each and every time and i think that's why i got really good soft skin you know my man be rubbing up on me he be like so soft and then i swear ask my best friend whenever she touched my leg or she touched my body she'd be like why are you so soft and i'll be like girl because I'm that bitch. No, for real. It's this exfoliant. And then I have another one that I'm going to show you guys. Um, in case you don't want to go to European Wax Center. I got this one from Necessaire. And it's different. Like, this is such a unique exfoliating scrub. Um, it's even finer than the one I just showed you. It comes out like a gel-like consistency. But it's not really a gel. It's really hard to explain. But it's really light. Like, as you can see, you really don't see anything on my hands right here, but it's still so good, and it lathers up, too. I like that. I like the smell of eucalyptus. It's not an everyday thing. I do not use Necessaire every single day. I'm just showing y'all different options for this video, but yeah, I like it, and also, I love how Necessaire is travel friendly, and the small bottles that came in the set that I got are always good for on the go. So we talked a lot about exfoliating. Let's talk about shaving. Girl, this is a regular regular shave scrub from Hair Cedar. <laughs> I picked it up because it smells like vanilla. Obviously, I like that scent. Um, I do love how thick it gets. And I really appreciate that because it makes the shaving process just all the better. Um, I usually wax my armpits, to be honest. But that wasn't part of the shower routine vibe, so I shaved for you guys today. This razor sucks, so I'm not going to tell you guys what razor this is. I also got it from the grocery store, but like I said, usually I wax. Um, but I'm not too keen on my shaving process. I really just go crazy. I go in every single direction because I have some... Um, irritating hairs that don't like to get got because they like to grow in all different directions so that's really all I do I go ham okay and if you suffer from hyperpigmentation under your underarms make sure that you exfoliate like I said and dang I didn't even show you guys but I've been using topicals lately from Sephora and um and Topical's Faded Serum is really, really good for brightening the skin. I also use that in my bikini area. I don't know about y'all, but I use it. And nothing has happened to my girly down there, so I'm all good. So, shoot, I say get it. Try it out, okay? <laughs> Just see what happens. I always, say do, I always say do a little test patch on your skin to see how your skin will react to a product before you just go crazy. But, yeah, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. It stinks. It smells like ass if I'm gonna keep it a buck but it's really helpful for dark marks so coming straight out the shower the first thing I do is put on my deodorant all my life I've either only used dove or a secret and this is exactly what the dove body wash looks like the sensitive kind y'all know the original is dark blue yeah I know my dove soaps like don't get it twisted but um this is very regular. I can't really go into it. You need the old rent boo-boo, especially if you're sweating your sleep. Like, don't be waking up funky. That's not cute. And y'all know some people love using spray on deodorant. I could never get jiggy with that. It comes out too cold from the can. I don't appreciate it, but this smells so good. I'm obsessed with the scent, and I love it. Um, so, yeah. It's like $2 at a grocery store or something like that. I don't know. You know, with inflation, it's probably more. But let's get into moisturization. Going back to Necessaire, I really love this body serum. If I'm going to keep it a bean, I can't tell you if it's done anything to improve my skin. But I like the way it feels. It's lightweight. Um, and it doesn't have a scent. Hence, it's the white bottle. But I just like it. 
I like the way it absorbs into my skin. It's not greasy, it's not heavy. It doesn't make me sweat in my sleep. I just like it. <laughs> I can't say too much else about it. And TMI, but I kind of sometimes get acne on my chest. I don't get back acne, but sometimes I get acne on my chest. And I like how this, like I said earlier, this whole brand treats your body like skincare. So it just makes me feel a little more secure knowing that I'm putting a really good product on this area in particular. And I know Sephora products can be a little bit on the pricier side, but don't worry, I have other options. And then I follow it up with the um, body lotion from Necessary as well. This is a thicker consistency, but it's still not too heavy. And basically, like I said earlier, I'm just into the fact that it's literally made to take care of your skin as well as keep it moisturized. And you know, going into the fall and the winter time, baby, you can't be walking around ashy because I will talk about you. <laughs> I will point it out. Like, baby, your knees look like you've been digging in flower boo-boo. Get it together. And Nivea, like I said, I'm going to show y'all different options, different price ranges. Nivea Cocoa Butter is that girl, will forever be that girl, and I love her. I also have the Shea Butter ones. I'll be rocking up when it comes to, like, body care products. So, under my sink, I have, like, 10 more bottles. I will never run out, but I love it. I love the way it smells. I basically like to focus the necessary products on my top half because... Like I said, sometimes I'll get acne on my chest and other areas like that. And then I really focus the Nivea on my bottom half of my body. Because um, I never break out on my legs. Um, I've never had a pimple on my leg or anything like that. And then I like to follow everything up with a body oil. Now, this is when I'm going out on the town. And I want to give glossy. I want to give, oh, she looks luxurious. Um, this has a scent, but I can't explain what the fuck it is. But I love oils because they are super lightweight. And I am a big believer in the fact that oil locks in other moisture. So that's what I do to end everything off, round everything out. Um, and it's also, it also serves as a really good base for any fragrances that you apply. I don't know about y'all. But I love going to sleep smelling good. So my favorite scent right now is My Way by Giorgio Armani. But as you can see, baby, I'm halfway through the bottle and I got this in July. I remember it was a birthday present from my man. Thank you, boo-boo. But why am I already out? Like, that's crazy. That's actually absurd. So since I'm just going to sleep, I don't need to wear any fancy old fragrance. So I am going to use my dossier i love this line they are way more affordable i used to have a discount code but i don't know if i have any more and this is actually my first time trying out the scent spicy orchid i didn't like it at first i thought it stuck and i love the way the bottles are like magnetic um i thought it was too strong i thought it smelled like an old man and i didn't appreciate that but editing this video right now i could tell you i like the scent eight out of ten so far if i had to accept Explain what this smells like. It smells like a old fashioned cocktail drink. Y'all ever heard of those? I love those. It's like bourbon. Yeah, that's what it gives. It's a little strong. If you were to pair it with something really sweet smelling, like that would be a perfect match. That wraps up my entire shower routine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mamas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.